Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and I'm standing in front of the Sports Star magazine. This is the 23rd February issue and it has the chess pieces on its cover. Now, I don't know if you have read Sports Star ever in your life, but when I was young, I used to read it entirely. It was one of my favorite magazines and it used to cover everything from cricket to golf to table tennis tennis badminton and as you can see here the cover story deals with chess it's written by rakesh rao who's a prominent journalist and i really like some of his articles uh, when he writes about chess and this one i really loved it because there's so much original information first of all let's look at this picture here it's uh, can you guess who these two people are well, on the left is the Biendu Barua and on the right is Vishyanand, India's first and second grandmasters. The name of this uh, <clears throat> article is Grandmaster Still Some Way Away. And on the right we have Praveen Thipse who became India's third GM. So, 1987 is when Anand became a Grandmaster, 91 is when Barua became a GM and 97 is when Ravin Thipse got his GM title. And today India has 61 GMs. At the time this article was published, Indian was not yet a GM. So 60 GMs is what is written here. <coughs> Pragnananda, uh, as you can see here, is featured and so is Gukesh who is <clears throat> making a move on the demo board and I like some of the things which are mentioned here for example uh, it is said that in terms of ranking around the world India stands sixth if one considers average top 10 players from each nation but uh, going by the number of grandmasters India is fifth behind Russia which has 251 GMs USA which has 99 GMs, Germany has 96 and Ukraine has 91. Now I was not aware of this fact and this is some very good research that has gone in. One more point which I liked is that Anand was the world champion from uh, you know he became one in 2000 and also uh, he held the title until 2013 and Rakesh Rao mentions very aptly that Anand never played in India during this period, which means that we were not able to cash in on this golden period. Yet, Anand's effect as a world champion has remained really high. And we can see now that tournaments like Delhi Open have records of 1500 entries, 1534, and there was a prize fund of 1 crore, which was in that event. Now, uh, Rakesh Rao has also interviewed Ramesh, and Vishal Sarin and they have given their opinions about what the future of Indian chess would be like and I'm, I'm very interested I was very interested to know that both of them are pretty positive about it but at the same time they say that in order to get a world champion like Anand it's not going to be very easy so the fact remains that we have Rapid progress, but we are far from being there. We are good, no doubt. But how many top 50 players do we have? Not many. I think we need to have 10 to 12 guys in top 50. Only then can we claim to be amongst the top chess nations. And India has only 3 right now, which is... Uh, sorry, 4. Which is Vidit, uh, Adiban, Hari Krishna and Anand. So this was a very nice uh, article written and here uh, you have one more article on chess which deals with me and Amruta. This is about our one year journey. That's why I really, uh, this magazine becomes very special for me because there was a time when I would read Sports Star and today uh, I am featured in it which is <laughs> really nice. It's written about our journey and what we did in the one year, the number of articles we wrote about chess, about uh, how many pictures Amruta took, how many videos we made, the blind chess we supported, the countries we traveled. So everything is here and I'm really uh, very happy that this article was published. Uh, special thanks to Rakesh Rao 
for this and here we see a very nice uh, design and uh, statistics that is being put up so if you look here 60 is the number of GMs that we have 49 are the number of world champions and here is the entire list of world champions so you have Anand then you have Hari Krishna, Hampi, Arti Ramaswamy, Deep Sen Gupta, Harika, Srinath, Sahaj Grover, Girish Kaushik, Ivana Furtado, Mohinesh, Sahajashri, Abhijit Gupta, Sayantan Das, Vidit Gujarati, Padmini Raut, Adiban, Soumya Swaminathan, Kartikeyan, Mahalakshmi, Vaishali, N. Priyanka, Saina Salonika, Pragnananda, Divya Deshmukh, Nihal Sarin, Bharat Subramaniam, Rakshita Ravi, Akanksha Ahagavane, D. Jishita, Gukesh and Savita Shri. Fantastic. This is the total number of world champions we have in open and also in uh, underage categories. We have 60 GMs here uh, and then we have the Arjuna awardees. I am not going to read through the 60 GM list. Um, Arjuna awardees are Manuel Aron, Rohini Khadilkar, Barua, Thipse, Anand, Divi Prasad, Bhagyashri Thipse, Anupama Gokhale, Vijay Lakshmi, Shashikiran, Hampi Ganguly, Hari Krishna, Harika, Tanya Sajdev, Negi and Abhijit Gupta. And there is Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna which goes to Vishy Anand. And then there is Padma Shri given to Anupama Abhyankar, Vishi Anand, Bhagya Shri Tipse, Harika, Padma Bhushan to Anand, Padma Vibhushan to Anand, and Dronacharya Award to Raghunandan Gokhale and K. Ashok. K. Ashok is Hampi's father. And talking about Hampi, we have a picture of Hampi here and another article featuring uh, chess, which is Who Next? Who's the next? potential world champion for India and here we talk about Nihal Sarin and Pragnananda it's mentioned here and what I really found interesting is that there's a difference between potential and something that is achieved like Hampi everyone thought that she would become a world champion in women's chess however she missed it by a whisker she's reached the finals as well uh, but not yet become a world champion and that's what uh, this article also mentions that while we have talents like Nihal Sarin, Pragnananda, Gukesh and others, there's no guarantee that India will create a world champion. A lot of things have to come together. So that's why the future is exciting. And here you have another uh, small piece where who can be the next GMs. So you have some names here, which is Vignesh. Ritu Gupta, Swayam Smishra, Shyam Nikhil, CRG Krishna, Tanya Sachdev, Satya Pragyan, Konguvel, Ratnakaran. These are the people who could become GMs very soon. And that's Sports Star. I think you should try to get this copy if you are a chess lover. A lot of things related to chess in it. Very nice pictures as well. And one thing which I really used to wait for when I got Sports Star is this thing here. Uh, there would always be a picture, you know, a poster of a world-class sports player. And here, this time, you have Djokovic here. Very nice picture of the tennis superstar. And I would cut it and I put, put it in the on my wall. Uh, I remember there was once of Gary Kasparov as well. Um, so I hope that soon there will be a poster of some Indian chess player which we could put it up on our walls. So this is Sports Star magazine. If you get it, do keep a copy with yourself, some interesting chess. I thank Sports Star and also Rakesh Rao and Ajit Kumar who have written some very nice articles on chess in this issue.